Hey everybody, Backpack Hack here coming at you with another trail tip for you photographers out there who enjoy taking your cameras out into whatever activity you're going to do outside. One fact of life is, is your lens is going to get dirty and you're going to need to clean it. So I thought I'd do a quick little video today about my method of cleaning a camera lens. And you need a few things to do this. You'll need a blower, a lens brush, a microfiber cloth, and some proper cleaning fluid. And there are some right ways and wrong ways to clean a camera lens. And I'm, this is simply my method. I'm going to take all this stuff off to make it easier to show you how to do this. The first thing I'm going to do when it comes time to cleaning a lens is, first off, I want to look at it to see, does it even need cleaning? Sometimes I may have a lens that I have with me, but I haven't used it enough for it to even get dirty. So there's no sense in cleaning it if it doesn't need it. But if it does, there's four levels of cleaning that I give it. The first thing I'm going to do is just, I'm going to look at it. And if there's a little spot on there, I'll blow it off. Now, a lot of purists will say, oh, you shouldn't do that because there's moisture in your breath and you might spit on the lens. Folks, these lenses are a lot more durable than you give them credit for. So if I, if I actually fog the lens or I spit on the lens, I'm cleaning it anyway. But if I can manage to take that little piece of dust off and continue shooting, that's all I'm going to do. But if there is a little bit of dust on there that does need to come off, my first step is a blower. Now this is a Geotos or Geotos or Geotos, I don't know how you pronounce it. I'll put a link to their website in the description down below. It's called a rocket blower because it looks like a little rocket. This has a one-way valve in the bottom. So when you squeeze it, all the air is pushed out through this nozzle. And when you let go, most of the air is pulled in through this valve on the bottom. So if you hold it like this to clean your lens, what's going to happen is all that dust that you've pulled off is going to fall down past this and you run the risk of pulling it right back up into the blower and blowing it right back onto the lens. So the proper way to do this is to hold your lens flat vertically and then blow at a 45 degree angle down. This way, if you dislodge any dust, it's going to be blown down here by the airflow and gravity is going to keep pulling it that way. It's going to be hard for it to get back up to here to get sucked back into the blower. So just do this and you could do this for hours and not hurt the lens. Just make sure that you don't jab the end of the blower into the lens because you could put a little mark on there and I doubt you're going to scratch it but you just, well, be safe. If that does it, I'm done. If not, I go to the fourth, or the, my third uh, step is a lens brush. Now, you want, when I say lens brush, a lens brush that is designed specifically for lenses. You don't want to use an old paintbrush or a toothbrush or something like that. You want to want to use one that is made for camera lenses. And there, all you need to do is just gently rub the lens across the, br rub the brush across the lens and see if that does it. Now, any dust that this picks up is going to still be on here. So this needs cleaned eventually. And the way I keep them clean is away from my camera gear. I simply tap it against the side of my hand or against the table. And that should dislodge most of the dust that this has accumulated. If I still have something on the lens, that needs to get cleaned off, I go to my final phase, and that is hands-on with a cloth and fluid. Two things, you want a nice clean cloth, microfiber preferred, you can buy these at any camera store, as well as a good lens cleaning fluid. I buy mine at a camera store too, I don't use Windex. You want to use something specifically designed for optics. It is very important when you use this liquid that you don't apply it directly to the lens. The reason being, if you apply this directly to a lens, it could accidentally run down and get behind the lens and back onto the back surface, the inner surface, and dry there and leave you with a great big spot there. Or it could get into the electronics. A lot of lenses these days have electronics in them. So it is very important that you do not apply the fluid directly to the lens. My method is to simply wrap my index finger with the microfiber cloth and then apply the fluid to my fingertip and use that to clean the lens. 
and you can go in a circular motion and then go to a drier part of the cloth and clean it off and there you have a perfectly clean lens. Now these will eventually get dirty especially if you got a big fingerprint on there it's going to pull the oil up that oil is going to be on that cloth so you either need to clean these or simply buy another one however you want to do that. But that's the proper method on how to cleaning a camera lens. There is one other thing you notice and that is this. These are, this is a lens cleaning wipe made by Zeiss. You can buy these in packages at Walmart. Sometimes Sam's Club will have them. And what they are is a little pre-moistened towelette type of thing that you can either use on your camera lenses or they work great for eyeglasses too. In fact, my glasses do need cleaned. I just as well show you that, that you can use them on glasses or you can use them quite safely on your camera lens and it will leave a little residue. Simply take one of these and wipe that residue off. And again, you have a very clean camera or lens. One final thing, if you have a detachable uh, lens cap, some smaller cameras have a built-in shield or mechanism to cover the lens when the camera shut off. But if you have a lens cap like this, where does it usually go when you're not using it? Into a pocket, right? Well, that gets dirt up inside of here and all these little nooks and crannies. So the best thing to do is maybe once a year or so is take these off, take them to the kitchen sink, run them under warm water, tap them out, towel them off and let them air dry. Because if there's d dust and dirt on here, you could just put it right back onto your lens. So make sure you keep these things clean too. So anyway, this is Backpack Hat coming at you with another trail tip, how to keep your lenses clean, be safe out there, see you out there on the trail, and hopefully you're out there getting some great photographs.